Hi, I'm Bill French. I'm with iPhone CTO, and I'm here to tell you about LogMeIn today. It's a desktop networking tool that allows you to connect to multiple computers and access them through your iPhone. The uh, folks at LogMeIn have built a native iPhone app. Uh, this allows you to log in and uh, use a unified login to access all the computers that you have arranged uh, in your account with LogMeIn. Uh, that's kind of convenient because it allows you to see any of the computers that you have access to through one interface. You can select one very easily and connect to it very quickly. Uh, this makes, uh, makes it much easier from a desktop networking perspective to do some uh, really uh, advanced use of uh, other systems uh, over, over the network. Um, the nature of this tool allows you, of course, to take control of your environment, uh, take control of a, a, a home PC or a business PC, uh, perhaps a server. In this case, I'm connecting to a server. Um, with a single tap, you know, you're starting to log the login process. LogMeIn also makes the setup and configuration particularly easy, so you have the capacity of building uh, a lot of configurations to a lot of different uh, uh, systems, all from the palm of your hand. Um, the, the nature of this app, uh, of course, provides that you need to uh, click on artifacts. And the one thing that I don't like about the application and the interface for the iPhone is the fact that the arrow key uh, must be positioned over some of the objects and things that you intend to tap on. I would prefer to just tap wherever I want to and have the mouse uh, events occur. There's also an ability to go into landscape mode and you can change settings such as color quality, uh, resolution, these are things that will improve performance. All in all, this is a pretty productive application. Uh, a little pricey at $29.99, but uh, you can use it with their free service. Um, the iPhone app seems to be uh, well worth the price because it gives you very, very uh, quick access to all of your information uh, and uh, your desktops that, that you want to control remotely. Uh, over Edge, I wouldn't recommend it uh, in this particular demonstration. I was using 3G. Uh, it's even faster, of course, uh, over Wi-Fi or other direct uh, network connections. Um, in addition to that, uh, there's some interesting uh, menu options uh, that allow you to take access or get access to uh, advanced features on the desktops that you're trying to control. For instance, um, there's an ability, of course, to open uh, a keyboard, and that keyboard gives you another menu that allows you to do uh, control and alt keys uh, you know, as well as hide that menu and move on to other apps. So you can do actual data entry into apps on your, on your desktop. Uh, there's also the ability to uh, use Alt-Tab and Control-Alt-Delete. Uh, these are kind of important when you're trying to manage uh, computers from a distance. And of course ending the session is very easily uh, accomplished with a single tap and switching to a different computer. Uh, so that's Log Me In. Uh, seems to make sense. Seems to be a a very useful tool. Uh, I've been enjoying it for the last couple of weeks. I recommend you give it a try.